Princess of Obadu Kingdom, and as such, I move around with my aides and my guards to wherever I go. Hmm. Sir, <laughs> quiet. Excuse me. <laughs> Look here, young lady. Do you know that this is our institution, owned by the federal government of this country? As such, has no special preference to anybody else. And you know, as you can see. There are royals and commoners in this class. And meanwhile, uh, you came 30 minutes late to my class. I don't tolerate such. Please leave my class. father's palace. I would have had that man severely punished. Nobody talks to me like that. He needs to know who he just insulted. This is the height of insolence. You know, with your reaction, that tells me that you have never been to Professor Wagner's class before. If not, you will know that he is a very principled lecturer. He wants you to be in his class, be seated before he comes to class. Oh, there's no lecture for you at all. Oh, but you think this is funny, right? But it, it, it sounds funny, isn't it? In my father's palace. Where I come from, commoners do not approach me standing. Not to talk of being talked to like that. This is rubbish. Look, I need to get out of here. Get me out of here.
Hi. Oh, hi. Well, How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wow, I... <laughs> I didn't think you would recognize me. I mean, we just met three days ago. <laughs> You're so funny. I mean, who wouldn't recognize a full-grown eagle flying in the air? <laughs> now, that's so much flattering. <laughs> oh, come on, I didn't mean that way. Um, by the way, I have not been seeing you in class. I hope um, it's not because of what that lecture said the other day. No, it's not. It's just that I don't even know the time of our lectures. Well, that would make me assume that you don't even have time to do. Nope, I don't. Okay, well I could make you a copy if you want, but you definitely not pick it today because I didn't come with mine. So, if you desperately need it, you could just give me your number and I'll call right, that, That's fine, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. If you notice that people look at me a lot, like... <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Not me, your friends are not. Okay, that's it. Okay. So I'll see you. We actually have a class now, you know. Oh, we do? Yeah. Oh my god, okay. Right, let's go. Okay, let's go. So how have you been? Hey, why don't you be free? It's for my security. I'm royal. So I can just... <laughs> oh my god. Something they happened. Who are those girls? Smoking on campus like tots. I'm surprised you don't know who Amanda is. Obviously not. Well, she and her co Arbisto friends are supposedly said to be like the hottest girls on campus. Not like I see it anyway. Wait, what is the red spell? It's Aristo with an I. Well, okay, so what does that mean? <laughs> this is so unbelievable. God, you are so naive. You know what? Let's go for our lectures. And after which, I will sit you down and I'll tell you everything about those girls. But I would advise you to stay away from them. They're not good. Please. You can say that again. They really look like they came from the ghettos. Yeah. Who the hell does that girl think she is? <laughs> <sighs> My dear, I just don't know. I wonder if she realizes that this is a university. And a federal one for that matter. <sighs> Make no worry. Now just time. Who gonna know how far? I did tell you. See <laughs> gown. <laughs> oh yeah, ma, what are you doing here? Chima Amanda. Chima. Una shall never end. You know, when I heard that you'd gained admission into university, I honestly thought that things would be better for you. But unfortunately. Mandas, who be this now? They don't know. Ah, this is definitely, definitely very interesting. Chima, what have you been doing to yourself? Girls. Let's go. Oh, not so fast, my wife. Not so fast. What do you want? I have a million questions that you need to answer. So state them and let me go. Here's my number. Call me and we'll talk. Girls?
You set the date and time for this meeting. And yet you still kept me waiting for two hours. Oi! If you take a good look at me, it will tell you how long it took me to look this good. Me, your ex wife What's all this ex talk? Perhaps you've missed the point. I came here to drive home a few home truths. You belong to my past, and then you shall remain. That's a lie. Is this why you left? Is it this why you, you, you abandoned your only son? Why, why you just. Oh, shut up! If this is why you called me here, then I'll take my leave. Come on, Mama, sit down. Sit down. Nerves. You've got nerves. All right, me. You know why I'm sitting on you. I want to make something clear to you. One, I am free of your shackles of bondage. Two, I owe nobody no explanation whatsoever. No one, least of all you. So now that we're clear, I'll take my leave. Not talk to you. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Here, I'm here to study. Mass communication. <laughs> Amanda. Sorry, Mama. That is what happened. This is very sad. But since then, have you made any effort to meet with her? Yes, Mama. I have. And I still will. But the only thing is just that, despite all my attempts to reach her, she just avoids me as if I have leprosy. I never liked that girl at all. Never. Especially for the fact that she was the person that made you. Not to finish the apprentice you went to as in learning your trade. No. Chimamba has freed my son. Hey. Oh, Mama. You have to be very careful, sister. You have to avoid that girl. Mama. Mm. Mama. Mm. Ah. No, Mama. Please. <laughs> Don't say that again. I will not avoid her. She is the mother of my son. Uh, let me just tell you something. Mm -hmm. Every morning when I wake, at night when I'm going to bed, I always pray to God to bring us back together. God forbid! I said, God forbid, not for you. Clear your mouth to me. I said, clear your mouth. I said, clear your mouth. I said, I will clear my mouth, but I will not change my mind. Oh. I, and I will not avoid that. Oh, the one that has happened to you, you don't want to tell You can't tell you. Princess, what do you desire we do to him? Caution him. Caution him that next time he should never touch anybody royal in his life or in his next miserable life. Fool. Young man and all of you, listen and listen real good. Stay clear from Princess Oluji. Elema, the only daughter of His Royal Majesty, who is the Obi-Wan of Obadoland. Obi Gibson, 
Ikeme Funa Odogo. Go and spread the gospel across your campus. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm really sorry to bother you, but um, you and my friends sit. I'm sorry I didn't see any reservation on this seat when I came here. Oh, oh yes, I'm sorry about that. She's not yet around, so I I actually went through some book from the shelf. So by the time I came back, you were here. So I'm, I even dropped this book here, so you know someone was sitting down here. Uh, this is where I want to sit. Is there a problem with that? All I'm saying is please just stand up, okay? There's so many other seats here and you can use any of them. <laughs> I'm trying to explain something to you. Please, can you just leave? Okay. Where is my seat? This is it. So yeah. why is he here? I've been so polite with him, telling him to stand up so he could go to another seat because you were here and he doesn't want to. Excuse me? Could you get up from my seat? Are you stupid? We don't get any significant stuff out of the six. What? Get out! Get out! No, stop it. This minute. It wasn't. Shut up! What is the mean of what you did in there? Listen to me. Nobody, no one has the right to call me that name except my grandmother. Now, don't yell. It's unladylike. All I'm saying is that what you did in there was bad. Your reaction was very bad and disrespectful. It wasn't good. Listen, I react the way I choose, when I choose, and how I choose to. No one has the right to stop me. Tell me what to do. Yes, maybe I'm not able to stop you, princess. But well, let me remind you that this is a university and not your father's kingdom. Okay, now you are shouting. Oh, yes, let me shout. How can you look a young man in his face and give him a slap? What does royalty mean to you? Humiliation and disrespect. No. True leadership is a reflection of your humility and the meekness of your spirit. And my dear friend, what you just did today was a height of disregard of your status. Look, if it may interest you to know that she who stands before you is also Loya. My real name is Princess Ola Nkem Opodozi of Oji Kingdom. Now, having introduced myself to you, I beg to take my name. Guy, 
guy, that guy, now, correct gentleman. Eh? See as the guy takes slap and he no talk anything. Maybe only gentleman. That guy now complete all oh, no beans. Oh boy. Wonder. He now support you. What can you agent to man be that one? I wonder. See, the funniest part is say na chick for that matter. Nah. Guy, if na me na mother. I go sound that girl. What's it? What? Slapping a fellow student. What does she think she is? You are talking as if you don't know. Princess Oluchi Elebenu. Not only Princess Oluchi, but Queen Amina Ozazao. Oni, how come a girl slapped you yesterday and you didn't do anything? Wait, 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 wait. How did it happen? Nothing happened. Just now to the move on herself as if you don't know this guy's attitude. This guy likes to pretend. Guy, you the lack. Now your best friend will tell you say your mouth they smell. You the lack. Honey, no give us gentlemanly attitude unless you're planning something, are you? And if you are planning something for real, don't ever think of leaving us out guys, of the action. Guys, guys, just calm down. Don't relax. Yeah. <clears throat> calm down. Okay, what's the plan now? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing? Yes, guys, first of all, eh, I want to thank you for having my back and supporting me. But on this matter, nothing is going to happen. Okay? Why? Because she's a princess. Ah, princess, my foot. Look, what are you talking about? I don't owe anyone any explanation. But the thing is, guys, make anybody not touch this girl. Because if you touch her, I will touch you back. Will you listen to me? Listen to me. Let me just Listen, tell you now. I've made my point. Let me tell you. Okay. Guys, I gave me for room. Wait now! Hey, wait now! Do you know why I invited you here? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Good. You were witnesses to what happened in the school library yesterday between those students. Yeah, we did, sir. Um, well, sir, actually I was told. I was present, sir. Good. I personally singled out the three of you uh, because I know you are the only carryover students in my class. I intentionally did not want to double into that matter. I want you to handle it. Well, I don't understand, sir. Sir, but how? Um, good. I don't know how you are going to achieve it. But I want you to bring that girl to apologize to that boy for slapping him in that place. I don't know. I will want that thing to be done in that very place. Your success or failure in this mission will determine if you are coming here next year to carry over my course or not. Um, I give you till the end of this semester to achieve this. Thank you, you're dismissed. Oh babe, why to this time again? The minister's calling and I'm rolling. Oh, I don't die. I don't you die. Bum. <laughs> oh God, hurt like fire, hurt like fire, hurt like fire. You girls. Oyema, what are you doing here? I've got a million questions for you. And a million reasons why you should quit this life of lies and, and just face your reality. What reality, if I may ask? Chima Manda. Chima. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What is going on here? What exactly is going on here? Amanda, who is this guy and why does he keep calling you Chima Amanda? Oyema, you will get your frustrated life out of my space now. What? You heard me. You walk in here on me and my friends like an imposter. And an imposter I will treat you as. I, your husband. The father of your child, I'm an imposter. Get out. I said get out! No. I'm not going anywhere. Do you listen to me? Chimamanda, please. I beg you. Everything, any, everything that has happened in the past is in the past. 
and I'm willing to let you die there. Just remember how we used to be, for the sake of our son. Hey! Jesus! Get out! Okay, now, how can you slap me? You slap your husband. Young man, I don't know who you are and what you have with Amanda, but I suggest you leave now. Please just go, go! Get out, get out, get out! The word is X! 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 Operating word is X! It's easy. It's okay, calm down. It's okay. Amanda, you slapped him. Why? That is not what I expected you to ask, okay? What I expect you to ask is, Amanda, who are you? Oh, shut up! A cigarettes. And I'll see you guys when I get back. <laughs> Something she's not telling us. <laughs> hey! What else? <laughs> Where does it never end? Amazing, Jay. Like I told you over the phone today, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. You know you're the only friend I have on this campus. Okay, fine. It's all right. I forgive you. I mean, who am I not to forgive her or your majesty anyways? Do me one more favor. Which is? Cut out this your majesty thing. I mean, you're also a royal princess. But that reminds me. I've been meaning to ask you. How come you don't have royal guards attached to you as a princess? So you see, I do not attach so much importance to all those things. My primary assignment in this school is to come out with a first class. Or else, I'll be forced to marry a 60-year-old man. Wait, hold, hold on, what did you say? 60 years old? Yeah. <laughs> How? Why? You see, the kingdom where I come from, because I'm the first daughter of the king, I have to marry from a specific royal family. So, and the only eligible man alive is 60 years old. You make me laugh. So it's small for me. <laughs> Let them say whatever they want to say. I don't care. At least, I mean, you, 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 you. Anybody who doesn't talk about is not a human being. Yeah. Yeah, yes, if you're not being talked talk, about, you don't exist. Okay. It means you're not improving, you know? <laughs> okay, so, okay. Fine. Um, considering the way you're sounding, why are you so bent on having a first class degree? <laughs> you are so naive. Okay, wait. Don't tell me that you're the only one who doesn't know on this campus that when you study English and come up with a first class, the school puts you on a scholarship to any country of your choice so you can do your masters. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, true. Wow, oh, that's, that's such a good trick. Continue. Yeah. That's my plan of escaping the 60 years old man. Doesn't sound bad. As a matter of fact, I don't mind going to any country I love to do my masters. I have a country in mind. Well, Ask me. That's a very wonderful plan, but you really have to work here. Of course I will. So what's good? The south of France. <laughs> then you have to work hard then. That's the guy. So my princess is scared. It's not. It's not like I'm scared. The guy is just so strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's scared. Mm. Well.
Princess, food is ready. Should we serve it? Now I'm really get your stupid self and get out of my sight. I said get out! Okay, my princess. Yes, Mama. I I've told you to let that go. But you won't listen to me. Don't beg her again. Chima Amanda has gone too far. And I'm coming back. It's not going to be too late. The war will never form up. I'm going to leave. But I'm just saying. When a monkey jumps up to the thing, it does not come down again. I believe she'll still return. Honestly, I, I understand how she feels. She, I think she's reacting to the fact that she feels her youth was cut short by early marriage. Oh, yes, which she got herself into in the first place by being good. It's okay, Mama. Even though sometimes I feel that she's partly responsible for my misfortune, but. I also know that I played my own part in the whole problem, so... Thank God that you know that she's a part of your misfortune. I know the son I gave birth to. If she had closed her legs, man, like you, know, you would have zipped your own up by. But no, she knows how to. It's okay, mm -hmm. I did not even come here because of Kim Amanda. They go because of nature. What about him? But that's why I've said I should bring him to Lagos on my next visit. Mm -hmm. That they'll be taking care of him. Mm -hmm. What can I say? I know Esther will take care of him very well, just like that. That left leg you complained about the other time, how is it fair? Let alone. Go for the pills you said. You're not sleeping. I was, but I didn't see you in bed. Uh, I'm watching TV. It didn't seem to me like you were watching TV. But I said I'm watching TV. Okay, fine. So are you coming to bed now? I'll join you. Okay. I did not mean to slap him. Sorry? But the, I thought you had... Oh no, I, I didn't say anything. Seriously, I, I'll meet you up in the room. Onye Manwara, I beg you, leave my house now. So my simple words don't move you. If you don't feel my pain, if you can't feel my pain, why not to feel his? Whatever happened in the past has happened. I know I made my mistakes and I'm begging you, please forgive me. For his sake. For our sakes. Please, Jima. I can see that you're not deterred by all I have done to you. 
you will take this piece of bondage that you call your son. What has taken over you so completely that you feel absolutely no compassion for your own son? The first fruit of your womb. Your son. Nothing. Alright. You will not spoil it. You will not spoil it. <laughs> man, we might have been through a lot, man. Yeah, man, you've really been through a lot. So, Mama, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I have to think, man, the glamorous Amanda Abi. Amanda is your ex wife. Obey her dowry. She's still my wife. But she doesn't want you anymore. She so, doesn't need you. So, so what are you going to do now? I guess I'll take my son to my brother in Lagos. And now I'll just continue to plan. That's a good idea. Well, guys, thank you, Godson. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you all. Thanks, man. You guys are good friends. Thank you so much. It's not going to be a lot, man. It's not going to be a lot. This boy is really tired and sleepy, so I need to get him to bed. Alright, let me see. So, you'll be. Alright, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, yeah? I'll just take care of you. I'll meet you tomorrow. I'll take care of you. Honestly, I don't think I have the guts to approach them. Hmm. Just look at our huge bodyguards. Yeah, I'm so scared to approach them. Aya, mm -hmm. I can't forget what I had. What's I what one of our bodyguards did to one guy just because he wanted to talk to the princess. Really? Hmm. What did they say that he did? Hmm. They said that he mercilessly manhandled this guy and asked hmm. him to go and spread the gospel. The gospel? Joseph, um, get you what gospel? <laughs> St. Matthew, whatever it is. The gospel of what they are capable of doing to any intruder, I guess. What would I want to have for this <laughs> I think school is somewhere I could just concentrate them. Well, only me knows what I'm facing, so. I Look, I understand it, so I did not have to. I don't see that, so. They are saying that our case will be worse. Because they expect us to be most ahead of us. Exactly. Exactly. You know what? I think we should be fast to get our friend. You know, we can get to the places. <laughs> Brilliant idea. Nice idea. It's best for us, brother. something I'd like to talk to you about. Anything, my beauty. Anything. Father. Yes. I want you to 
withdraw all the royal guards attached to me on campus. Why am I in love with an act? Yes, why? Well, you cannot begin to imagine the kind of embarrassment they are causing me. Embarrassment? What? They deserve immediate punishment. Yes. No, Father, that's not what I mean. You don't understand what I'm saying. Look, Father, there is no student that walks around the campus with, a, with royal bodyguards. It just makes people have a wrong impression of me. And what is that in my accent? Mother, people think I'm a snob. They think I'm arrogant. Besides, Mother, the worst of it is that they think I'm a child that cannot even take care of myself. That is my beauty talking. Come. You are our baby. My last child. And my first daughter. After six boys, Princess. Oh, I wish one of your brothers was in that school with you. I would have loved it so much. Now, Lola, I prefer the school abroad. They can take care of themselves. They can take care of themselves. Oh, so, Father, are you saying that I can't take care of myself? No. Father, you call me a lioness. That means I'm, I'm able to take care of myself. That is my princess talking. Ah. Now, I declare immediate withdrawal of all the royal guards. For what? Except one. To help you at home in school. No, Daddy. I want every, everyone withdrawn. So then let me do things for myself at least for once. But you know that. No, no. I think I see her point. All your wishes are granted. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Now that your father has granted a new request, I know you're very happy. Yes, Mommy. I am so over the top. Like, I'm really happy. <laughs> um, let me get something else. I don't no, seriously, like I'm really happy. Like I get to do things for myself. She looked like yesterday. I cooked. Oh, uh, uh, no, no, no. No, seriously, I did. I, no, but I won't lie to you now. I, seriously, I cooked. I even swept the house. Like I did stuff on my own, and it feels so good. I'm just tired of. I'm tired of. People doing everything for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, now that I can get to wear this, I don't have to wear that. I wear yeah. what I wear every time. You can wear what oh, every other girl is wearing. Now you know what I'm doing. Don't you? <laughs> so, what did your father say? Uh, yeah, you know, it wasn't like, there's one thing my father does, right? If I tell him I want anything, he doesn't to say no, right? He, but, okay, he said, um, it's not safe for you, uh, you come over without your security, uh, you know, your royalty, you should, I'm like, daddy, no, this is what I really want, and he said, you can have it. <laughs> I am so, so... So, so happy. This girl's again. God, look. Let's just leave here. I mean, this smoke is doing something to no, me. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Were you in any way referring to us? I cannot remember speaking to you. Oh, you had better not. <laughs> Come on, Jace. Just take it easy, okay? It seems her royal majesty is scared. Oh! Hey, hey, hey! Come, 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 come. Scared of who? Scared of both of you? Little church rats? Not on your life. And 
Who the hell do you think you are? And who the hell do you think you are? Oh, oh sweetie, huh? Listen, tell me. Listen to me, okay? Okay. You are a princess. Blue blood are not supposed to be caught bantering words with commoners. No, leave me. Let me face that. Just because I'm a princess doesn't mean I will sit down and take your nonsense from these low lives. People that are not even qualified to be my servants. I understand. But they're not worth it. Do you understand? Sure they're not. They're beneath you. Let's get out of here. This place is obviously so defiled. No, come and sit down. Come and sit here. Yes. Did you hear that? The other one is a princess too. Oh God. I wish I was a princess. Fool! That is what you are. Big fat fool. Idiot. Get out! Get out! Did I say anything wrong? Um, excuse me, please. Um, can we have a minute of your time? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will just go straight to the point. I avoid wasting much of your time. We are here witness what transpired between you and one princess. So we have come to apologize on her behalf. And you guys are... Yeah, sorry, pardon my rudeness. I am Joseph Bayo, and this is in kitchen. Theater Arts Department. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, man. Good. Nice to meet you. All right. Have fun. Uh, Bayo, right? <laughs> <laughs> guys, honestly, I have nothing against that lady. Oh, really? Seriously? Yeah, of course. Oh, come on now. I know it's really humiliating what she did, I mean, slapping me like that, but at the end of the day, no, she happens. Like, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, <laughs> so guys. <laughs> okay, I don't want to see you this movie before, you don't see professor or whatever it is. I'm always around. Wow. Oh, let's go ahead. Thank, thank you for giving us your time. Uh, we are here on behalf of Onyema. We want you to understand the kind of psychological trauma he is now in. Not as if he wants to retaliate, nothing of such. But it will be justifiable on your friend's part to apologize and make peace. Listen, Ken, you're well aware that the princess has stepped on so many toes on this campus. People who could harm her at any given opportunity. Did you say that? Oh, no, 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 okay. But you know, the princess should not mistake Onyema's silence for stupidity or cowardice because no man can take what he took from her and stick in his school. I guess um, uh, you have to talk to the princess so that she can apologize to Onyema. Some are swallow her pride. Well, you guys are just talking as though she doesn't have a choice. Or would I say I'm busy some threats? No, 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 no. Certainly, nothing of such. Not at all. Now, I want you to see it in this way. We all here know you, you didn't support any of our actions that day. Just like Nkechi earlier said, that your friend has stepped on so many toes. So, apologizing to this guy is an opportunity. I mean, very great opportunity for her setting off a new record in this institution and creating a new self-image for herself where everybody has seen her as rude and arrogant. Good girl. Which she is not. She's not a bad person. But I will talk to her and um, <clears throat> I'll try my best. No guarantee though. You know, my apologies to him. Uh, no, wait a minute. I hope he didn't send you guys here. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Just concerned students. Okay. Yeah. 
No problem then. I will try my best, like I said. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. wrong with me? You know I'm your friend and you can tell me anything you want. And I'm fine. Absolutely fine. Oh no, you're not. Olichi. Like I said, you can talk to me. Whatever is bothering you, the other night I slept here, I heard you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, while you were sleeping. Oh yes, don't be surprised. If you keep this thing within you and you don't tell anybody about it, you only die in silence. Everybody and you know like the other day in the library, remember what happened? I shouldn't have slapped that guy. I mean no, I, I, I that was wrong. I, I should have handled it in a more mature way, but you know the worst thing? When I looked into his eyes, he's a nice person. He doesn't look like a hostile person. Otherwise, trust me, I would have known how to handle it, but I saw a smiling face. I feel so bad. Trust me. That's all that's about you. Yeah. Don't worry about it. We'll find a way to. That's all I want to do. What is wrong with me? I'm just. Thank you. We are coming. Let's go. You have to do this. Look, 
I know, but not in front of all the students. But you acquitted. I know I did. My heart is failing me. I, I'm scared. I, I don't have the courage to. You don't have to be scared. I will be with you all through. Why would your heart fail you? I just want you to do the right thing. Prove everybody wrong that you are not the kind of person they think that you are. Look, it's not going to be that easy. I... I They are all going to be surprised, but I I guess I don't have much of a choice. stand on this issue. Hmm? I want you as my wife. No, Chief. As your concubine. You already have a wife and children. Did I hear you say children? Did you say children? Four girls. Daughters. So, what am I going to do with four girls? So, who will inherit my empire when I'm, when I'm gone? All these girls will be married off to some men somewhere. I'm left with nothing. So you see, I want you to bear me a son. Perhaps, Chief, there is a law in your land that states that women should not bear children after four issues. Uh, no, 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 no. That is not what I'm saying. You see, my wife has this issue. There's a problem. Of those four children, the last two were delivered through operation. See? And the doctor warned us not to have any more children or even try it. Because she might lose her life through that. So, we place her on a permanent uh, family planning method. Really? Yes. What sort? Oh, we, we just remove her fallopian tube. And she agreed to that? Of course. 
but she has a very choice. I mean, of course, initially she put up a fight, but, but she has to agree. It is to save her life. So you see my, my problem now. Eh? I need you to bear me a son. And when I look at my wife at home, I don't desire her anymore. She doesn't give me that thing that makes me, my heart go for joy. So I look outside in marriage for that. And I found you. Hmm? I found you. you I, I, and, I, and I love you. And I love everything about you. You see? So, what do you say? Chief, it's a bit too sudden. You'll have to give me some time. Mm, well, of course, of course. Of course. But but for how long, my sweet? Eh? Um, so, Chief. So. So. Can we leave this restaurant? They, they refuse to bring the food. I'm very hungry. Uh, they will bring it. They will show it like this. Uh, the food will be here. Not just the station. Because we already ordered now. But we can leave. After all, how much was it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is my sweet 16. <laughs> mm. I just love you. What's up now? It's not coming out. It's not. I'm trying to fix it. Babe! <laughs> what are you doing there? I think it's not coming on. I'm trying to... I beg you, leave television. They go buy you another one after the day. <laughs> I trust you now. You know. <laughs> so, oh, that's awesome. What do you me? Nothing. I'm glad you guys are not. Oh. You remember I said I had something to tell you guys? Oh, yes. It's about Chief. Yeah, yeah. You all know why I'm dating Chief, right? Of course, now. Cash, now. Right now, he doesn't want my body as payment anymore. So what does he want? He wants my precious hand in marriage, in his dreams. Why are you all staring at me as if I just rejected a free ticket to Mallorca? Babe, that is what you've done, okay? I don't understand. Chief asked your hand in marriage and all you could do was reject it. Hello? <laughs> Wait, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Chief Liu, one of the biggest car dealers in this town proposed to you and you're wasting time. Come off it, girl. You girl simply amaze me. You just amaze me. She know there's no price to my freedom. More so, his conditions. I can't, I beg. Conditions? What conditions? That's I bear him a son. What? <laughs> but that's absurd. No, I didn't get it. I don't get it. Did his wife just die? According to him, his wife already has four daughters and she cannot afford to give birth again because they had cut off her fallopian tubes. He had severed it. On his own account, too. He <laughs> advised her to <laughs> to him to him All his children. Yes. You don't say. Yes. <laughs> Still. So what's, what's the food? Is? No, no, he, he, he says that she can no longer give birth, you know, because if she tries to jeopardize her life. So it's me now that you're going to this on. Oh, you know what? This is becoming interesting. So tell me more. I don't understand. So why did you why did you reject the proposal? Why oh, do you also think you cannot give him? Wait, 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 wait. Do I look like a baby making factory to you? Do I? Am I God? Okay, did fine. You, wait, wait, am I God? Oh, 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 it's okay, fine. I know you're not God, okay? But then this thing takes time. It takes time, from the time you take in to time of delivery, you know. There's so much time in between and then you can comfortably woo him to your side. Your point being? Accept the proposal, okay? Accept it. You don't know. It, with time, you will just... I'm sure you will succeed in gaining all he has, right? You know what, Chase? And you never cease to amaze. Don't do. I will think about it. You better do. Just think about it. You wear clothes, you want to go to the You guys have food, I think. Very good, baby. Let's go out to the 
am so happy for you, Rini, that after what you've been through, you still have the strength to move on. It's not easy. Eh? I praise your courage. Thank you very much, Auntie yeah. I know that I disappointed everyone with my actions in the past, but uh, I'm also very lucky that I'm surrounded by people who understand that life is not about how many times one falls, but how many times one gets up after a fall. After my discussion with my brother's wife, Esther, my eyes opened to many things. And I'm glad that she helped me realize that going back to school will make my life better. See my life today. I really thank God. And, uh, Auntie, to you, there's only one thing that I can say all the time. Thank you. And to your husband, too, for your support, both financially, morally, and otherwise. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Don't worry. He's God. All glory be to God. Just keep it up, okay? If I have more, I will do. Um, I have to leave now because it's getting so dark. Uh, please. Well, let me call Mama so that uh, she can see you. Uh, okay, yes, no <coughs> problem. Be fast. Well now, you girls have asked questions about my past. It's one of the many reasons I refused Chief's proposal. I am a married woman. Chimamanda Chimamanda Mama You call me Sit down Chimamanda Mama Have you lacked anything since the death of my husband, your father? No, Mama Are you sure? I know why I'm asking. The way I feel now, hmm? I feel like burying you alive. Mama? Yes. Because I don't know why you have chosen to disgrace me and put tears in my eyes, just like your sister Chinasa did. Mama, I don't understand though. You don't understand? You don't understand if he's a madman that got you pregnant. Or you don't understand when you got pregnant. Eh? Which one? Chima. Mama. Who is responsible for this? Mama. Chima. Mama. 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 Mama
Chima Amanda. Mama. Are you deaf? No. Oh, you want to run, eh? No, Mama. If you move and inch now, you will see demons. Chima Amanda. Mama. Talk. Nobody, nobody. Hi. Well, tell me, Mama. Chima Amanda. Mama. I have decided to kill you before you kill me. The only thing that will save you is to tell me who is responsible. Nobody, you. Chima Amanda. Mama. Talk. Mama. Mama? Mama? Ogini, oh, are you ready to confess now? Are you ready to tell me who it is? here in Momo Nyema's house to talk about Onyema, my boy. Onyema is a boy with a promising future. But where he went wrong is what I don't know. In fact, the most annoying part is that I trusted him more than all the boys serving under me. He is so intelligent, so hardworking, so articulate in business that sometimes it got me thinking, why didn't he further his education? And that is why we are all here today, disappointed. Mr. Mbabwe, I thank you very much for everything. My face is covered with shame and my heart is filled with tears. Just for the sake of my late brother, David, who entrusted Onyema to my care. I wanted to send Onyema to school, just as I did to his elder brother, Manuel. I single-handedly saw him through. Thank you, Mr. Amwara. When the mother of the girl 
came to me. My first reaction would have been to send Onyema packing from my house. But on the second thought, I realized that he has been good to me, he has been hardworking and diligent in business. Then on a second thought, I decided to have a change of heart. So, where is all this talk leading us to? Too much grammar. Are you telling us midnight tales? Cut your story short and go straight to the point. Uh -uh. See, me, Agnes Oko, we never take a with any use. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it right there. Did you did it. Oh, look at this woman. You think you can walk into my compound and call my precious, handsome, promising son useless? Not of my life. Anyway, look at this woman. You are a shameless woman. You are a very stupid woman. You couldn't teach your daughter morals. You couldn't tell your daughter to close her legs. Because I know my son. If you taught your daughter how to close her legs and not to open for for mama and abu, I'm on your hand. Look at you. 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 We have not come here to quarrel, but we have come here to find solution to this problem. Let's put our heads together and find solution to this problem. Ladies, please, 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 <laughs> please let us watch what we say to each other. Eh? I know we are all sad, we are all angry, but please, <laughs> let us talk with caution. Please, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted. I called Onyema. I asked him if he loved the girl enough to want to marry her. He told me that actually he loves the girl. But the truth is that he is not ready for marriage. What? Is he? Who is not ready for marriage? Hey! <laughs> Agnes, if you give her, Onyema, or whatever he is called, I know Chagochi man man that he is jara. Eh? Hey, baby, she will not enter here. Where you from? You would just we shall see. He can mess with your bag, Agnes. He can mess with your bag, Agnes. Okay, I get it. Hello, man. Hello, how are you? Okay. I advised him that it is not right for him to leave the first seed in his life to become a bastard. All right. So, based on that, we decided that I will pay the bride price. Mm -hmm. Then, I am going to give him 150,000 Naira and a shop. Despite the fact that he still has two years to serve under me, Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Man. You are a wise man. You've spoken like a wise man. And leaving me to tend to a child. What is the meaning of all this? What, am, am I not talking to a human being? You are talking now. You are talking to a human being. You are talking to a human being. Is it because I got money and, 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 and come back in that? Leave my hand! Chimamanda, I know why I have been enduring all this. Eh? It's because of the fact that we did not plan all the. We did not plan to do this at this time. 
But now, it's not that I, I will not have married you eventually, but... Look, Chimamanda, for the sake of this boy, for the sake of peace and unity, let's try to work... You are who? You are who? You are who? See, Onyema, one day, but you go back at... You don't come back again, oh! Try to hear me! You less foolish man! Yeah. Useless. Yeah. Foolish. Mama, me, I'm not going back to the house. Oh. I'm not going back to the house. Every day, quarter, 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 quarter. My daughter, you have to endure it. I had better plans for you, but you chose this one. You have to live with it, my dear. Bye, Mama. It's alright. Tomorrow morning, I will take you back to your husband's place. Hmm? Hmm? Mama, you are not listening to me, oh! You're not listening to me, oh! Why do you come and carry my cups, oh? You come, come and carry my cups! God forbid! Uh -uh. You have to go and sleep now. It's already past midnight. Let tomorrow come first. I will know what to do. Hmm? Much. You too. Hey, long time no see. Where have you been? Eh, uh, I got married to that uh, Oyema. That's my boyfriend in secondary school. Go on. That's Oyema. Uh, Are you serious? So, what about it? I don't have a son. I'm married. You have your son. So where is your son now? He's at home. At home? You don't go to school anymore. Why? I want to go, but <laughs> no money, no, no money. The problem is to start first, not money. Okay? But do you still have intention of going back to school? Hey, now. Ah, ah. Then come, I'll help you. Hey, because education is the key to everything now. <laughs> Joy, oh. Joy, oh. Yes, you go back to school, everything will be alright, okay? Hell, hell, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was going to buy bread for my family. Okay, hey, yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Finally spoke to me to help me gain admission into the university. How did you solve the issue of your husband and child? I left them for good. You did? Why? Peace. Peace. That's one question I have no answer to. I guess I wanted a new life. Said a new identity. I was formerly known as Chimamanda Onwara, but now I changed my name. No, not now. Like you know, you know, some time ago I changed my name. I changed my name to Amanda Peters. Regrets? <sighs> no, I have not. I have no regrets. My only regret is the fact that Oyema is in this school with me. <sighs> what do I tell Chief? Where do I go from here? What do I tell him? You don't have to tell him anything, okay? Oh, sure, you have to tell him something. 
okay? Onyema hasn't taken back his dowry, and Chief will also want to pay a dowry. You just, you just have to tell him something. My fears, exactly. This, this is getting so difficult. Why don't you tell him a lie? Okay, just lie to him. Tell him you were raped, okay, and, and, and then you, you got pregnant, and then your village people, you know, just lie to him. They, they asked him to pay a dowry on your head, okay, so, or else he faces your village, or okay, just, I don't know, just, just tell him something, please. How can you ever say that? Answer to my problems. Just try it. Oh my god, that might be it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, just stop crying, okay? Stop crying. It's okay. So sorry. It's okay. <laughs> to give that proposal of yours a thought. You have? Ah, that's good. Very good. You see, a trial will convince you. Are you sure? I'm very positive. You see, when a man says something and he does it, that is when you know he is a man. You will not regret this. Listen, I will do everything to make your life comfortable. <laughs>
You're very beautiful. Thank you. You don't look bad either. No, seriously. Eat. You know, I... I really can't believe you're sitting down like this talking, you know. Like, after everything. Come on, why are you staring at me like that? Son, for that matter. I you are a real woman, and I love you more for it. Actually, he hasn't collected his diary. No, my bright price, my bright price. Let me collect everything. No, don't worry, he will. He will. Come to daddy. <laughs> uh, that's my sweet sister. And by tomorrow, man, I will make you. Let me go inside. that may mar this relationship. But trust me, it'll be worse if you heard it from somewhere else. Look, you're scaring me. What is it? Please don't be scared. It's about my past and it's not very pleasant. Okay, but I'm, I'm ready to listen. Tell me, what is it? I saw you, Mrs. Amanda. <laughs> Silly girl. <laughs> so tell me, girls, what's been happening? I have missed school a lot. <laughs> mm. So many things, babe. But not to worry, I'll fill you in. Professional gossip. Mm -hmm. Which way we do Right on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? My dear, that is one of the hottest gist on campus you have been missing. Such a compatible couple. God, 
I love them together. Shut up. I mean, I love the way she dresses. So unique. Dresses. Shut up. So, what are they doing together? Dating, of course. Dating? <laughs> yes, babe. Dating. Impossible. Oi. Yeah, and um, considering the way they met, it appeared impossible, but you know this thing called love? It does play on us, you know? Um, so, what point are you trying to make, gossip girl? <laughs> oh, yes. I was saying something, wasn't I? Sorry, my mind drifted. Remember once we had um, the princess slapped a guy in a lecture hall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was your Oyema. What? Well, you can't be serious. How come they are together? How? <laughs> Ask me, oh, Mr. Love, where are you? Please come out. We have a question for you. Ask me again. Be Chris. <laughs> you are staying with us, Abba. Yeah. Hey. Oh my God. Look at your bag, darling. Can't you see that he's been dying to tell you something? Please listen to me. I mean, people make mistakes. Ever since you told me everything that he told you, I, I have been doing a lot of thinking. I did not hide anything from you. And that, my dear, is love. Look, I know. You know I love you. I think he's a good man. He has a good heart. Mm -hmm. True. I know what to do. Well, I'll trust you in that, but you really know what to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, bye. You see, since we had our last baby, you know, we have not been able to have another child. Mm. Uh, not that I'm blaming you or is any fault of yours, you know. Uh, and I know you vehemently kicked against uh, the family planning we did. But the sad story now is, uh, I don't have a son. That's it. It was as if I was stubborn. But deep inside my spirit, I knew that a day like this would come. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> just, 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 hear me out, eh? Hear me out. 
I am not blaming you. Mm -mm. You are not to blame for anything that happened. You know. But well, what am I to do? The doctor suggested uh, that was the best way out. You should have insisted we tie the fallopian tube. Not severe it. I don't, I don't want any mistakes. Your life is precious to me. <laughs> that man is not God. Believe in God. At least maybe five years more. And everything will have been okay. <laughs> I leave everything to him. I know he will make me smile again. Ah. I know he will wipe my tears. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Nothing. 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 He gave me good night. Yeah. Well, um, give me a maca. I just want to tell you that uh, I am taking a new wife. So, prepare yourself for it. Hmm? Good night, my dear. Vice President of Student Union. She invited me for her birthday party, but I don't think I'll go if you're not coming with me. So I just want to know if you're coming. Yeah, I don't like parties. I understand. I know you don't. I don't either. But I mean, she really pleaded with me, like she really wants me to be there. So let's just go. Just a couple of hours. I can't go there alone. Hmm? <sighs> what time? Uh, 8 o'clock, but I, I made her promise me I wasn't staying all night today. No, it's tomorrow. I know. Please, I really want you to come now, Kim. So him are going to be there? He was also invited, so he's coming. Is that a yes? I'll try. I'm not promising you anything. SUG president, SUG high school, and all other dignities can present, my fellow students. You are all welcome to this very distinguished occasion. The birthday of our very own, the SUG vice president. Without much ado, let us quickly introduce the celebrants. The very distinguished morning star. Wow. Give it up for Miss Joy Martin. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. You're welcome to my birthday party. Wow. Am I excited tonight? Yeah. I am very excited. I really appreciate your coming here tonight. Well, as you all know me, I'm not a lady of too many words, but of action. And I just want to tell you to you all to just feel free, enjoy yourselves. Catch your phone. Do whatever you want to do. Just do your thing. Just do it. Ah, because I am in charge here. Thank you once more. Thank you. Now before the commencement of this party, let us join our celebrants in cutting the cake. Now, 
She's going to constipate at the countdown of three. Okay? okay. Now, three. 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 I can't hear you. Three. 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 Two. 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 One.
say thank you for accepting me to with my past, with my flaws, and everything. Really you know, before I came here, it was just me, my friends, my family, and my father's. It was like a small world until I got exposed to being in school. Coming here has made me realize that life is not just about trying to make everything perfect. You know, everybody makes mistakes. Some you can correct, some you have to leave. You do not owe your life to anybody. You cannot dictate when fate or the tide of fate takes you to tomorrow. Well, look at you. Just yesterday, you were just like any other guy. And today, you will become the prince of my heart. And I love you. Romance brewing? Amanda. Take your goons and get away from here, please. We don't want any trouble. Here. Of course, of course, of course I will. Wait a minute. Is this not the little princess who woos her Prince Charming with a sweet dirty slap? Come on, I'm willing you. Oh yes, come on, hit me! It's just stuck in trade. Go on, hit me! Do it! Go on, hit me! As for you, my darling, I do not envy you. Or haven't you heard that in real life, princesses do not eat leftovers? Ever heard of blue blood? No, I... I don't think so. So I wouldn't expect you to know what it meant. A royal blood rises to defend his object of interest, be it animate or inanimate. As for leftovers, Chimamanda Omora Ne Kovio. What? <laughs> I take that to mean that you're beginning to understand what I meant by blue blood. That's if you're not terribly dumb. Which I suppose, as I was saying, there was a saying that says that when a king eats whatever he chooses, his subjects understand that he must passionately desire whatever he decides to eat. As for you girls, I would be kind enough to employ you to work in my palace. Oops. Oh, I forgot something really vital. The only people qualified to take such noble jobs must be virgins and unfortunately, you all are disqualified because you have been so highly defiled. Take me home, sweetheart. Will you?
twat. Silly twat. Push her in. <laughs> Come on!